All right, guys, here's the deal. I have this awesome, awesome air compressor. I'm just finishing up restoring, but I have to replace the pressure switch. I got this cheap one for under 20 bucks on Amazon, and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to replace a pressure switch, but they're way too long. So as per normal fashion on Jimmy's Garage, I'm gonna show you the quick, simple way to do it that doesn't take 20 minutes, make it easy to understand. Let's go. Okay, first things first, unless you would like to die, make sure your compressor is not plugged in. Second thing to do is you wanna take off the cover on the old pressure switch and the cover on the new one that you are replacing it with. Okay, so here is the old switch with the cover off and you can clearly see that over here it's labeled motor, over here it's labeled line. On my new one, it also is labeled motor and line. The two green wires, remember green ground, green ground, they are connected to ground. And I have two screws down here connecting to ground. You basically just want to mirror what you already have going on and wire it onto the new switch. It's as simple as that and I'll show you. Okay, this is really simple. Pause this and replay this if it'll help. Here is the motor line. This power wire goes to your motor. The black wire is on the left, the white wire is on the right. Think white, right. And then the green ground is on the right. And then from your line or your power line, you're having black on the left again and white on the right. And then you have your green ground on to the left. Okay, now that everything's disconnected, you wanna pull your lines out of the box. You may have some retaining clips in there or something, or you just might need to give it a good pull, but you wanna pull those out of the old box and also disconnect the small air line. Okay, now that everything's pulled out of the box, you wanna remove the box from the tank. So just grab the appropriate wrenches needed to take the pressure switch off. Okay, now that that's removed, you wanna make sure that your new switch has the same fitting as the old switch. Now this old one had a male end on it and the new switch had a female, but luckily I had this double male fitting that I was able to screw in there. So if that's the way it works, awesome. If you had this piece and you needed it, great. Next step is to screw the new switch onto the compressor. Okay, now that the new switch is on securely, you're gonna pull your power through and your motor lines through. Now remember, it's gonna be white on the right, black on the left, and you have your two ground wires down here. Motor is going to the motor, so that is the power cord going out, and then line is the power coming in from the wall, so that's gonna be coming in. Okay, now that you have everything hooked up properly, including that air line that we removed, the last step is just to pop the cover on, Plug it in and see how it goes. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I really hope this helped. I hope this was simple and easier to watch than a long drawn out video. Make sure to smash that like button, comment on the video, subscribe, share if you haven't. I appreciate it. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Be good to one another.